problem number one for the three body diagram. So draw the three, bra uh, three body diagram for the given cable as shown in figure 17.0. So dito, uh, kailangan ma-practice mo natin kung paano yung uh, tamang paggawa or pag-drawing ng ating three body diagram for any structure. Okay, bago kayo mag-proceed sa iba't iba pang uh, solution sa equilibrium condition. Okay? So dito, so this is uh, point A. Okay, point B, C, and D, okay? So dito, i-analyze natin kung ano yung mga kailangan, kailangan natin kunin dito. So meron natin applied force P1 and P2 at joint B and C. So ibig sabihin, uh, ito, itong mga ito, itong mga line na to is yung ating tinatawag na cable or cord. Okay, so ang cable or cord natin is mga tensile forces. Okay, so at joint B, So, this is our x-axis and this is our y-axis. So, ito yung ating force P1. At dito, makapalabas. So, this is uh, joint B. Dito, palabasin natin yung mga unknown na forces. So, meron tayong unknown tensile force for segment BC. So, this is BC. And meron tayong unknown tensile force for segment AB. So, kung meron man tayong uh, given na angle, okay, Sabihin natin ito ay theta 1. So, gamitin natin yung angle. Sabihin ito naman ay theta 2. So, this is theta 1. Kung hindi naman, gamitin natin yung mga sukat na given sa ating problem na y1 and x1 as the slope. So, this is y1 and x1. And yun yung gagamitin natin for uh, the solution of this uh, force system. Next naman, kapag nakuha natin yung BC, Pwede mag-proceed sa C. So, ito yung free body diagram of joint at C. So, Y and ay, X and Y. So, this is the applied force P2. And ito naman yung unknown force na tensile force na BC. And ito naman yung unknown tensile force for CD. So, kung meron ng angle na given, if this is theta 2, then lagay niya theta 2. Or, kung ano naman, kung slope, this is y1, and yung horizontal slope is x, uh, x sub 3. Okay, so ganun lamang yung uh, paggawa ng ating free body diagram.